My name is Five Flip Bam. Um, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Subscribe to my channel. Put your thumbs up. Hit the notification bell. But right now, guys, I'm going to address somebody that needs to be addressed, if you will. Now, I'll be frank here. I'll be transparent. I'll be all that. Just so you know. But I'm going to read this girl. Okay. So, me and Leland have been having some rocky moments. And we're going to have those moments throughout the relationship. Leland knows where I stand and I know where she stands. Have you ever heard of sweep around your own, fr own front door before you try to sweep them around mine? Let's do that, Dorla. What a messed up name you have. So I'm going to say this. You wrote leading a text after you looked at one of my videos. And thank you for watching. Thank you. I appreciate it. So, you addressed Leland and you told Leland to watch her back. Hmm. For what? You don't even know me. Now, let me tell you what a real friend is. A real friend would tell you, if, if I go to one of my friends and I'll say, you know, I pulled a gun on Leland, or I, I bust her car windows out, or um, I kicked her when she was down. Now, you know what my friends will say? Belinda, you were wrong. You were wrong. You shouldn't have done that. Now you need to go and apologize and make it right. That's what my friends would tell them. Now, I'm not even mad at you. But I have to address this because I don't want you to think that you're telling Leland something that she don't already know. Now, you don't know what goes on between these four walls, so you butt out. If Leland comes to you and she wants to vent, and if you don't have good uh, information or, or anything to give her, just listen. Just listen. Because I don't know your household. I don't know if you got a woman next to you, a man next to you, a dog or a cat next to you. I don't know those things. And I don't care to know them. And the only reason why I'm addressing this is because I told Leland that I'm going to address this. How did I find out? You think that I looked at her phone? And how did I find out that um, you said for her to watch her back? This is how I found out. Leland copied the test and sent it to me. Now, usually, you know, I'm not drama. I'm too old for that. I'm not drama. I don't make problems for nobody. And I'm going to tell you this. I'm the best girlfriend Leland has had. Hands down. That's how confident I am in this relationship. I'm the best. That's why you and X, you feel me? Darla, you feel me? Yeah, you an ex. I'm present. I'm present. Now, granted, Leland has some um, anger issues, and we've talked about those. She, she demonstrated those issues when she was in a relationship with you, Darla. She demonstrated those issues, but it's not going to go here. I ain't all for the drama. If you got bags and packages and suitcases that you need to get rid of before you really enter this relationship, then that's what's going on right now. She's working on herself. I'm working on myself. So if anybody want to come in my relationship, now, granted, I don't think it's right. For Leland to have gone and told people about what's going on in our four walls. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. Because it's nobody's business what goes on in this house. Until her and I can straighten it out. 
Now, if you want to go and tell your friends just because you want to vent, do that. But you straighten it out here first. That's how grown people do it. That's how grown people do it. You can't come here and start no drama. You can't. Because I ain't going to put up for it. I ain't going to put up with it. Not today. Not tomorrow. Not next week. Not through a phone call. Not through a text. Not through a FaceTime. I'm not going to put up with it. I'm telling you now. I'm telling you now. So if you want to give Leland advice, you give her some advice. The right advice. Don't tell her to watch her back because you don't know what she's watching for. What is she watching for? Oh, no, no. Oh, no, Darla. I'll wait. I'll, I'll wait. I'll wait until you can tell me what she's watching for. I'll wait. Okay? Okay? I don't hear nothing. But you know what you can do, Darla? You can put those comments down below. You can email me. You can do all that. Look at my bio. It's there. Every stitch of it. Now, if you have something to say to me, about me, say it to me. Be a grown person about it. Feel me? Now, I don't know what's going on in your household, but clean up that shit first. Until you start thinking you're going to clean up what's over here. It didn't hurt my feelings. It didn't hurt my feelings. Nope. It just had to be addressed because I don't want you to think of, think that you're running Leland and you're running this household through your little comments that you give Leland. Now, if you was a real friend, you would have told Leland where she was wrong at. If you was a real friend, you would have told Lena she needs to, to stop what she's doing and talk to me. If you was a real friend, you would give her some advice that won't hinder her. I'm not here to hurt nobody. I'm not here to hurt Lena. And Lena ain't here to hurt me. You feel me, Dollar? Yeah, feel me. But this is how this is going to go. Don't text her no more with this negative bullshit because that's what you into. Because she gonna show me. Or she gonna tell me about it. And I'm gonna address you again. So, Darla, all you gotta do is get in your car and come by. And we can settle this face to face. But I will not sit back and let you put shit in Leland's ear because granted granted you know Leland better than I do so you know how to push her buttons you know what will get her mad and what wouldn't you know that you know that and a little time that I've been with her I know it as well but I ain't here to hurt nobody I ain't here to hurt Leland I ain't, I'm here to build her up that's what I'm here for. I'm here to encourage her to do better in life. That's what I'm here for. I'm here to make her happy. I'm here to go places and do things with. That's why I'm here. I'm here to care for her any way possible. But I'm not going to let you Put things in her ear. Unless you've grown enough to get on the phone and talk to me. Because I got words. I got words, baby girl. Now, I don't know how grown you are. Stay out of grown people's business. Let's do that. Let's do that. So, from this point on, keep your negative bullshit to yourself. Keep that to yourself. Because you're not going to rock this boat over here. You're not going to rock this boat. You feel me? I'm talking to you, Dollar. You know, and I, and, and, and 
I did something as, as childish as her because I was mad because she reached out to my friends and my sister. I was upset about it because I felt like whatever goes on in this house, we should be able to sell it. I shouldn't have to go to my friend's house and hear what she, what Leland has told her. I shouldn't have to do that because ain't nobody, friend, sister, mom and dad can tell me how to run my relationship. Nobody. I'm grown all day, every day, all day, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I'm grown. That's what grown people do. They handle their own business. I don't have to hit her. I don't have to chastise her because that's been done already. I'm just here to uplift her. Something that you couldn't do because she's not with you. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about that. I don't even really care about that. I don't care. I did. I called one of her friends that she, that she used to live with. I called her. You know what her friend said? I'm going to tell you. Her friend said, yeah, Leland is kind of anal when it comes to this, when it comes to that. But she's a really good person. She didn't talk bad about Leland. She didn't try and give Leland negative advice. Now, I can truly say that's Leland's friend. That's Leland's friend, not you. Not you, because you're trying to rock the boat. You're trying, to, you, you're trying to put a hole in my boat. But I'm not even worried about that, because Leland knows what goes on here. Leland knows who I am. Leland knows that I'm not about the drama. I will look at you dead in the face and have no reaction when it comes to drama. Because that's not my issue. When Leland came here, I had no baggages. I have no exes knocking on my door. I have no exes calling my phone. I have no exes giving me bad advice. None. Because I came here baggage free. Baggage free. Now I understand that Lena has some baggage. I got it. But that's going to be handled in due time. One day at a time. So don't come over here trying to put your opinion in something that you have no idea about. You don't know me from Adam. You don't know me. And I don't want to get to know you. Let's say that. Let's say that. And uh, as far as what I put on my channel, Five Feel Bam channel, don't have nothing to do with Leela. This is my channel. Now, if I want to put anything on this channel, that's what I would do. That part, I will do it. Because I get to say what can and cannot go on this channel. Because it's my channel. Now, I would like Leland to be on this channel. We funny together. I would like her to be on this channel. But since she's not, since she didn't think of this channel, since she don't want to be on social media, that's fine too. Leland got her own mind. And that's how we're going to leave that. Leland got her own mind. Now, if she takes your advice and start watching her back, start watching her back and everything I do, she complains about it, everything I do, there's an issue, make some room for her, Darla. Because I'm not going to go through no more drama with you. With her, with the people outside, I don't do drama, baby. And I'm going to dress you one time and one time only. Unless you want to make a phone call. You know, you can ask Lena for that. You feel me? 
Yeah. Yeah. So keep your opinions to yourself. Sweep around your front door. Shake out your rugs. Do your laundry. Brush your teeth before you start coming to talk to, to Leland about me. Now, Leland knows me. Leland knows I ain't about that drama. Leland knows I ain't going to deal with it. She knows. And you said that I, I, I was talking about her on my channel. I didn't say anything about Leland. Now, if I talk in general, that's what it is in general. Now, if those things apply to Leland, they apply. If the shoe fits, wear it. I don't talk down on her. I don't talk down on her. I'm not here for that. I'm not here for that. So if you got something to say, boom, call me. Because I got you. I got some words. And don't be a bitch and hang up. You know, don't be a bitch and hang up. You know, talk to me as a woman. Because that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. So if you have anything else, I'm going to say goodbye to you. Hope I never hear from you again. You don't have to text Leland because it's not, it's not appropriate. Because you're negative in her life. I'm trying to get her away from all that negativity. You negative. You like to throw monkey ranches in people's programs. But you can throw a monkey raft, a, a machete. You can put some bullets through the door. It's not going to break what we got up in here. Unless we decide to break it. You hear me? That's we. Leland and I. Leland and I. So, keep your opinions to yourself. And as always, bam! Make sure you like, dollar. Subscribe, dollar. Leave your comments down below, dollar. Let's do all of that. Because I, hey, I'm about it. I'm about it. So, all my other people that looks at me, watches me, and supports me, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Leave your notifications down below. Let's talk about it. And on a lighter note, peace. <laughs>